All right, hello everyone. Here we are, hole number two. What we're going to be setting up for here is going to be the par four. Uh, what I try to do on this one is I'll typically try to uh, go out to this left hand side. You can see that the wind is also favorable. I have a nice left to right wind which is going to when i go over to the left hand side you'll see that the wind is almost straight down which makes it just a little bit more holdable when you can when you can get it like that so the one thing you'll definitely want to do is kind of never go to this way there's no advantage to going that way whatsoever it just makes it cuts away all angle um you know and you can see guys are using an extra mile to go that way and it's just like it's just something you don't want to do. So what you're going to see that I do here is I'm going to go tighten. And mainly what I'll do is try to land somewhere right around here. Might typically go, you know, kind of right on no spin or maybe just a tad of touch. But you'll see I try to land on the left of the fairway here kind of intentionally just to kind of avoid the nasty spot. So anywhere on the left is good. And then we can just curl it around back to the right. What this does is it kind of keeps you from hitting that side slope. And then you can just kind of curl it over to where it needs to go. And, you know, just try to keep it definitely short from rolling. And, uh, you know, we should get a good angle to be able to go for the holdout. What you'll see guys have to do here, you know, there's no real holdout ability. So all that they're going to have to do is just kind of lay up and kind of keep the ball in play. So that's what you're going to see that opponent's going to do is just kind of keep it out there. Um, you know, the curl can get a bit risky. You know, if he great balled to the left, for instance, you know, there's a chance you could go into the bunker. So you can see perfect ball is going to be decent. But, uh, you know, you do just got to protect against those great balls, um, especially with something as little as accuracy as the uh, big dog. So here you can see with what we're up against, what I'll typically try to do is maybe around three backspin if I can. So it looks like, you know, I may be able to get this, you know, with all that side spin I have, it's probably shooting towards the hole, kind of right in this plane. It just might be just a little bit over, more like this. It's really tough to tell without the ball guide, but I'm thinking somewhere along here, and you can see we're at the max, so I'm thinking just a little bit more than two rings. So that's what you can see that I'm doing. And hopefully we can get our perfect ball. If we do, there's going to be a good chance that we have a holdout potential. And you can see just a bit too early, which is going to block the shot to the right. It is coming in just a little bit hot. So, you know, getting that up to maybe three and a half. And, you know, I wanted to make sure that it at least got to the hole. So, um, you know, especially for our first attempt, I want to make sure um, that it does roll out. So uh, with, with not seeing as much of the guide, I want to make sure that I'm at least getting the ball to the hole. But now I know I can kind of back off and just kind of keep that same spin, but maybe just pull the shot back a little bit farther and let the uh, ball guide just be a little bit shorter because I know that it's going to roll out that far. The difference between that hole and number one, you know, number one, the up, the greens into an upslope, that one's just kind of like a flat spot. So you see kind of the two different ways that it rolls out. One up into an uphill is a little bit slower, but then that one will run out because it's just kind of like a flat surface. So it's just going to have just a little bit more scoot with three, so you can crank it up to almost four backspin and get kind of what it would have been with a three typically. So good luck there, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one.